And he is a local mayoral candidate who is running on a platform of pro-leash laws and afternoon napping. We will introduce you to Sparky. That pushes better leash laws and, and the supplies of free kitty litter. Coming up next on News 10, we'll introduce you to Sparky. He's the newest candidate in the race for Schenectady's mayor. Watch out, Brian Stratton. This cat has fans who think he is the perfect pick for the next mayor of Schenectady. Meet Sparky. This is him right here. He is not just your average cute fuzzy feline. His human says for voters in Schenectady, he is their third candidate in the race for mayor. The first rule in most businesses never work with kids or animals. But obviously, Kathy Fitzmorris of the Catbird Shop in Schenectady, or better known as Sparky's campaign headquarters, doesn't seem to be buying that tale. Well, I was joking with a friend of Sparky's one day and uh, said that he should run for mayor. And Sparky seems to be picking up plenty of support. Downtown, you can see the vote for Sparky signs in plenty of businesses. He even has his own website where the cat candidate says he wants to push tough issues like local leash laws, pooper scooper laws, and general pet safety. But has this catty candidate met his current competition? No, Sparky has not. He's never met the mayor, nor has he met the other candidate for mayor. Uh, he would like to meet both of them. You know, anyone who can come in and pet him, he'd like. And that is why Kathy says the kitty campaign is really a lighthearted way to get more foot traffic in the downtown area and into places like the Catbird Shop. Just trying to have fun. We're not encouraging people to actually vote for Sparky. We don't want anyone to waste their vote. Uh, Sparky can't be mayor. He'd like to be, but it's not a reality. And really, who would want to vote for a mayor who just lays around all day and is high on catnip? <laughs> well, if you want to vote for Sparky this November, you need to remember that he is a write-in candidate.